All right, you guys ready to do this? Yes, we're fucking ready. Let's get it going. All right, Trail of Prep Boys podcast. This is number 29, I think. You Episode 29. Don't have a fucking you have clue. one dude. responsibility, and that's to know and, what fucking number And it is. I said 29, which is the correct fucking episode. Maybe. Episode 20, so it's maybe 29. It might be. Stop being anyway, a you fucked up the whole intro now. All right. Very, very excited today. Yeah, you ever. I am very excited. The guest we have today, right there. One of the best songwriters probably in the fucking world. Oh, thanks. In my opinion. <laughs> Canadian songwriter, artist, Ron Sexsmith. Hey, Ron, how's it going? Good, how we doing? <laughs> oh, it was it fist fight? I wasn't yeah, sure. No, time. I'm very awkward with the yeah, I'm not stuff sure. when I, I get nervous. Hey, hey, hey nice man, to see you. Yeah, Bob, see you yeah man, this is I awesome. I'm getting fucking up, Bob. Right here. <laughs> Seems like you might have a bit of a crush on him, Bubs. You're pretty excited. I don't one. have a crush. <laughs> Not like that way. I mean, I do. Like a man crush, you know. Well, whatever no, you no, want. No, no, I bet you, if, okay, Bubs, if you were a female, mm. would you bang Ron? <laughs> That's a weird question. Too. Well, he's got you a crush. Ask that? <laughs> you obviously have a crush on him. I don't have a crush you on him. I just serious, enjoy the talk, man's music. You've been talking about him all day, man. I'm you've been listening to his songs. Well, now you made it all weird. He's going to be looking at me weird now. I, I just Can ignore that, please. Well, it's, Mr. You know, is a seating arrangement uh, sort of set? Or? Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to sit, you can <laughs> no, sit wherever I'm you fine, want, man. Fine. See, look, now you got them all nervous. No, I've been wanting to do this show for a while, so okay, I'm kind cool. of, um, I'm honored, actually. Awesome. Maybe we yeah. would just hit the reset button and forget that he asked that. It's oh, fine, Bob. So I've already forgotten it. We gotta slow this down a bit. You just like his music. So does Lucy. So do all of us. It's, it's, it's really? awesome. I mean, I'm always surprised when anybody ever, when when anybody says that, you know, because uh, why? Well, I haven't had any hits yeah. or anything. You know, nobody knows me. Oh, well, that's so. not Bullshit. true. I know some no. people that know you. Wow. Well, I've heard Elton John talk about you. Wow. Well, I've heard Elvis Costello talk about you and Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no one knows who I am. They're pretty big. Bullshit. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. Well, Can that I was, ask uh, you about that? Yeah, sure, go you, ahead. You told, you said you went to Paul McCartney's house. I did, house. yeah. Can yeah. you tell that story, like for people that yeah. never heard well, of it? Was it, not, it was a lot like this, actually. It was kind of around his table, his breakfast table. And but he nobody was, asked, nobody said, hey, Paul, if you were a lady, would you do that tonight? <laughs> I bet no. you nobody said that. <laughs> Um, but how did you no. get invited? Like, how did that well, come about? Well, I, I was touring over. That was my first trip to England, actually, and uh, I'd only been there a week, and I got the in. I was touring with Squeeze. You remember Squeeze? Yes. They had a lot of great songs, and uh, Chris Difford from Squeeze lives down the road from Paul, and so when we were driving over to, uh, back to his house after a gig, he said, hey, maybe... Well, first he said, do you never guess who lives down here? And I just thought of the biggest person I could think of, which was Paul McCartney, and, and you know, it, it, I was right. And uh, so the next morning, he just gave him a call, and they were having breakfast, and they invited us over. It was just so strange, you know. Oh my God. I mean, I never thought that would ever happen. And uh, so Linda was the, you know, she was still alive, and yeah. she made us breakfast and played some songs, and it was great. So you just describe it to me. You drive down the driveway, and what yeah. are you thinking when you see the house? Well, the cool, up? the cool thing was when we pull up into his driveway. You know, he had a whole bunch of cars, right? He owns a lot of cars, yeah. and he was already in the front door, kind of going like this, like look, oh, you're well, peeking, you know, doing the thumbs up and that. That's what Paul does. And everything about it was, and he was in his pajamas, which was kind of cool too. You know, like it was nice. Sunday morning, and he had his, he was. What kind of jammies were they doing? Well, he had a t-shirt and, and pajama bottoms, and you know, he had a sort of, he before he started dyeing his hair, you know, so he had a kind of salt and pepper thing going on. He was 53, which is just, I mean, I'm gonna be 53 next year. It's so crazy oh, how shit, time man. flies. Yeah, time flies. But, but he looked great, and um, his kids were there, and his dogs were there. Um, Do you go in the house? Hey, Paul, how you doing? Yeah, well, he goes, oh, so you're wrong, you know, you're wrong, or whatever he said, and I he didn't know me, my music at the time, but he'd heard of me because it was around this time when I was, you know, when Elvis had done that thing for me, held up my record, and then they were, t so, so they'd heard of me, and they knew I was from Canada, and in fact, what, we talked a lot about Gordon Lightfoot, actually, strangely enough, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, he said, like, apparently Linda was a fan of his, and, and so anyway, that, that kind of, I mean, you know, the first half hour, I couldn't even look at him, I was sort of like, like this, you know, with my tea, <laughs> and he was right there, but and then, then, the guitars came then the guitars came out, and I played them, listened to what the man wow. said. Oh, you know, his shit. song. I was too afraid to play him one of mine. You played that to him? I did. He played with me, sang harmonies. And That's amazing. Yeah, it was crazy. He played me a couple of new songs that, he, that he'd just written. He, uh, and nobody, nobody filmed it, uh, did no, they? Nobody filmed it. And uh, I Are you guys a, drinking liquor? Uh, we're just drinking uh, tea. Just it was tea. early in the morning, you know. 
And I, and I I still have like my stepbrother Steve still doesn't believe I met him because I don't have any pictures. But you know you I wasn't gonna take a picture in his house. You know Not that's a, a huge fuck up. Well, I don't even have a to this day I don't have a phone or anything that has. Well, I, you, you know, know I maybe mm -hmm. I have a hard time believing that you were with him then. I mean yeah. you pictures and shit. No, Julian, yeah. any man wouldn't make it up. No, I wouldn't make that. Some up. people make up stories. Kind of makes yeah. it cooler that you know you don't have anything. For well, it, I didn't want to be rude in his house, yeah. you know, on a Sunday. And I didn't have a camera anyway, but I didn't just, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping somebody would take a picture, but it just never happened. Did he at so. least offer you a, a drink when you got there, other it, than the tea? It was breakfast time, so it was just tea yeah. and, you know, everything was veggie this and veggie that. Julian right? Paul just, McCartney oh, doesn't hit the liquor at fucking nine yeah. in the morning. He was, yeah. a, he, Bob's, he was a beetle. He okay? was. I you know what was cool, though? You know what was cool is at one point, he after I got my confidence up, he was telling, I asked him, oh, are you working on anything? And he said, oh, I'm doing this record now with Jeff Lynne. And I said, oh, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, that's what I said to him. Right? <laughs> and, and he goes, oh, I know exactly what you mean. You know, and I, oh, and I love Jeff Lynne, don't get me wrong. But it was just that, you know, how everything sounds like Jeff Lynne when yeah. he, he does that thing, right? yeah. Tom Petty, whoever it mm -hmm. is. And he said, oh, come in, I'll play you something right now on the stereo. So we go into his living room, and, he, and he, I don't know what kind of stereo he had, but he's cranking this song over the stereo. Not only that, but he's singing along with his own song, right? Yeah. At full, you know, belting it out in his living room. So, and it sounded like, you know, the best song ever because he's singing along with his own yeah. record and he's standing right there. And Linda's going, oh, wait till you hear this song. And she's really supportive of him. Mm -hmm. and, and it didn't sound anything like that Jeff Lynne thing. So I was... What I was, song was it? Do you remember? Oh, yeah, it was from the Flaming Pie record. Oh, um, yeah. I like that Oh, record. man. Oh, it was like one of the last songs on the record. I can't remember if you have the Decent. Google it. Yeah, it's very cool. Anyway. Unreleased Paul McCartney songs being played for. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. So anyway, that was that was about, about the size of it. And how long were you there? Like maybe three hours, something. And you know what? He had a Picasso in his washroom. I thought that was oh interesting. God, put, yeah. In his pisser. In his pisser. And it was not even the nice bathroom. It was the one off the kitchen with just the toilet in it. He probably had actual Picasso in his nice bathroom. Probably, probably like embalmed and... And, to the wall. and the other thing I remember about it, because I went in to use the washroom, and, and you know how it is in England where you can't find where the, f the flusher is yeah. sometimes, because mm -hmm. it's everywhere, it's on the yeah. floor. It's a, and it's so I here. couldn't find it. I'm looking around, and and I just peeked my head out, and he, I guess he knew what I was about to ask, and he just kind of went like this, you know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that was another, I don't know why he thought of that. Does he have like a lot of security, like a you know the crazy alarm system on his house? You know what he had? He had, he had a, it was kind of ridiculous, but he, you know because his house is on his. Look, just wait, you estate. might not want to tell him. I know oh, what he's thinking. All oh, right, okay, right. He's what, Bob's? Thinking well, about case. Well, I'm not going to give him the well, address though. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You can tell the story then. But he had a, a long driveway, okay. you know, lots of land, and at the top of the at the sorry at the beginning of the driveway there was a little there was a man sitting in a booth there. Okay. That so whenever you know. Of a car, but it wasn't. You could, like his land. People were jogging all over his land. Like it wasn't. Are you like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's he was complaining about it that he would go up for a walk and there's some hikers or some backpackers. So would you go. can easily get onto his. You land. could easily get onto oh, his are land. You kidding me? Yeah. And um, see, that's something you'd never know. You like. Yeah. See, well, you don't need to know that. <laughs> well, we go over there as well sometimes. You know, we could go yeah. not check it out. Casing out the joint. I'll tell you that. Just a big Beatles fan, Bubs. Don't yeah. Oh, yeah. Go oh, see yeah. Oh yeah. You're like. a big Beatles fan. Right? Yes, I am. <laughs> We What's your favorite Beatles song? Hey Jude. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh yeah, that. everybody knows that. Would you <laughs> give me an a, give me an no, obscure you, song? No, off you know what? We're not even going to get into this, Bubs. <laughs> give me something obscure. Oh, off think of the song. Guess like, what? There's nothing obscure on Revolver. One song I do. Trick question. <laughs> one song I do like. Uh, the one that you say the the Tukasa song. That what? It's something. Um, oh 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 oh! Drink to me, drink to your health. That goes, one. Tukasa. Oh, I think he said Picasso. He's no, got a Picasso. Picasso. The Jucasso song. What is it called? That's McCartney? No, that's you. One of oh, your that's tunes. me. It's a good banging tune. He doesn't have... Jucasso. I don't remember He's that. He's trying that to again? promote his greasy products. Oh, oh, right, right. You know he doesn't have a song called Jucasso. What, what is this stuff, anyway? It's, it's like these that. vapo pens, man. They're really cool pups. Oh, Grab that for me. See if he wants to try it. He doesn't. Oh. You don't smoke vapor pens, do you? I've never tried, no. no. Well, you don't need Is it like one of them hookah things? Those... Those kind of, kind of. Hooks a little bit. It's a little menu here. You can like oh. take these oh, things, throw them in that thing. A couple wow. drops here, a couple drops. Does of that. it have any like health benefits or anything? Uh, it's nope. like well, yeah, no. Well, probably it just it chills you out, man. Right. You smoke it. It's delicious. Mm. It's not. It is you know, it's like a vapor. It's you guys all smoking. smoke cigarettes? No. Oh, that's good. Just uh, joints. Good. Just joints. Yeah, I smoke everything. Right. Anything that smokes, I smoke it. I was actually in uh, Ohio once with the guy that invented those little blue cigarettes. You know those ones? They, they, you know, they have a little blue light. A little yeah, blue yeah. light. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I don't know if he invented them or he was involved in inventing them or something. And he was he, he gave was me probably one of them. rich, was he? He was very wealthy. Yes, yes, he had a big uh, mansion on the overlooking the the lake and all that. But well, see, uh, Julian nice. made some kind of a greasy deal with these guys that he won't tell us well, the details of. It oh. takes time to get through these details. You're talking about a lot of lawyers, man. These are big business guys, Bob's, okay? Mm. It's not like a fucking call and say, all right, we're doing it. it takes a long time to figure this shit out. Is that, are those, is that the only sponsor? Or well, they... yeah, for now, I mean, no. who wants, you don't need anything else when you're dealing with these guys in Chukasa. All right, enough of that <laughs> shit, man. You're out of control. They're great to uh, Every time you say it, it makes me want to fucking have some. <laughs> I'll do it. You see, there's a nice oh, sign yeah, over there at the nice. bridge. You got a mentally program now. Oh, like yeah. Dog, right there. Pavlov's dog. Is that, that to us. Is that a, does cool. that mean anything, that word? Is that... Jukasa, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, there's a story behind the, the, uh -huh. the name Jukasa. Hmm. It's a sad story, but it's great. Huh. Speaking of names, how did you come up with yours? Well, my stage, my name, that's my actual name. Apparently, oh. it had something to do with uh, Maker of Knives or something. Okay. The old Eng old English you name. You thought he was in a band called Ron Sexman? <laughs> well, I just well, it's it's a great. He made up a name, and maybe he's really good at doing that stuff. Or, no, or, I mean, you know. I I wish I would have made up a name. Sometimes, you know, I mean, you know how a lot of songwriters these days they don't use their name; they call themselves like Bright Eyes or something, or they call themselves, you know, Bon Bon Iver or whatever. I wish I would have done that sometimes. What would your name have been in that case? What do you think you would have went with? I don't know. Uh, parking. Meter or something, I don't know. Parking meter would have been awesome. That would have been good, eh? Fucking right. So. Going to the fucking parking meter show tonight. So yeah. A blacksmith makes horses and a yeah. sucksmith make, makes knives. I see where Is you're it? going with that. Yeah. Oh, well, well, he makes knives, apparently, yeah. That's what I've heard. It's nothing to do with hmm. the right. uh, six inch daggers, apparently. Six inch <laughs> daggers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get it all right. Yeah. <laughs> I was really I've fucking heard. confused, man. Yeah. Are oh, these chips are good? Yep. Rick, you gotta get rid of these fucking chips, man. Chips are good, they're healthy. I don't need Potatoes. chips right now. Hey, have Everybody you guys, um, you have the same ones from the last You week. see those board games over there? Do you, have you ever came across the game Battling Tops? Battling Tops. You remember that game? No. I've been looking for it, that's all. I just wondered. Oh, is it the ones you spin? And it's the ones like you have a, everyone, it's like a wrestling match, but mm -hmm. with everyone has a, a top and you pull the string and they all go in the middle and they fight. Oh, and the one oh, yeah, that's yeah, still yeah, left yeah. spinning is the winner. And we kind of we had the same thing. We had those little robots that you spin up, and then you know their feet oh, just yeah. move. You know, we used to build things around them and shit. Uh -huh. Way back in the day, that was a fun game. I remember. I remember Rock'em, especially Sock when you're big. Rock'em Sock'em robots. I remember those guys. That was great. That was a good game. Rock'em Sock'em was great awesome. One. Mm -hmm. So was Tech Mobile. I don't remember that. What's that one? No, I don't know that one either. Game. You don't know Tech Mobile? Don't think so, man. From hmm. the original Saga. Nope. Okay, well, fuck you then. I remember <laughs> you were right into that Hungry Hippo game. Oh, that's a great fucking, game. It used to drive me nuts. I was good at it. Like, they, when, when you see the commercial for Hungry Hippo, you're like, okay, you have a few drinks in That'd be fun, but when you get the fucking game, it's loud and it's fucking annoying. Like, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's loud. It's, it's just like, like loud. Like like marbles and things. things. Yeah. Like, it's like that other one with the ice is loud, too. The, the no don't break the ice. It's a loud game, man. Like, it, it's it's not fun. Out. Yeah. Unless you're playing with like really cranked up music. <laughs> Remember Doctor Shocker? Remember that? One? <laughs> Dr. No. Shocker. You, know, you mean operation? You mean? Oh, no, operation. no, no, no. Oh. Doctor Shocker used to plug it into the wall and had a couple leads, and you'd hook them to yourself and switch it on. <laughs> what the fuck I think that was something. About? Yeah, your parents may have did you when you're <laughs> you're bad. No, Doctor Shocker. Doctor Shocker. Shocker. <laughs> he used to sell that. Okay, can we get back to interviewing? Yeah. All right. Okay, I've, I've got a question. Me too. Or go right. ahead. Right. Um. Where's your favorite place in the world? Um, well, this is going to sound like I'm totally blowing smoke, but I okay. love Halifax. I love Halifax. Awesome. Because, That's a good answer. Um, That's a great answer. I always wanted to live here. I mean, I, came, I lived here for, uh, briefly in the early 80s, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, so I always loved this place. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I love uh, Ireland's great. You ever been that's, there? That's, our, I, that's I my Ireland. favorite place, yeah. Ireland. Yeah, yeah. I love been it there. Yeah, been to such Dublin. a great place. A place to drink. I'd like to go yeah. to Belfast. Never been there. Oh my God, been to Dublin. Been yeah, yeah, you love Belfast. Too. I'd like to go to all the towns, you know, the little towns, do the whole mm -hmm. drive yeah. around. Mm -hmm. Cork, I heard, is really cool. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Is that where they make the corks? I think, no. I, it's, I don't think so. It's not the, it's not the same Doubt thing. it's where the cork comes from. Right? Cork doesn't come from Ireland. I'm pretty sure of that, man. Yeah, probably. Uh, where would it come from? Like France or something? No. Cork would come from Spain. Probably Maybe like, Spain. I might be able Maybe to look this Google up. That. I, think I, think I can from, Google that. I think it would hmm? be like more like Africa, wouldn't it? Cork? Oh. Cork comes from Africa? 
Hmm. I would think. Nice soft. Uh, it should cork. come from Cork. Why would you name your town Cork? Maybe the town is named after. They're named after the, the Gork, Gork, you know. Bowl the Gork. <laughs> Get her in you. Okay. <laughs> they probably do a lot of drinking there, right? In Cork? Oh, they definitely, yeah, they definitely do. You've played in Cork, I imagine. I, I, I just played there, in fact, a few months ago. Yeah, it's a great place. Wow. They love their music in Ireland, and they do in, uh, in the East Coast. There's a similarity there. Yes. It's a very, a lot of fiddles and things, you know. Absolutely. Lots of plaid. And, uh, What's the strangest country you ever played in? Like, you know, the most... I'd have to say Japan. Japan's a really uh, beautiful but very strange I was place. in Japan. You I know, was in Japan. You, you were do in you, Japan. Have you liked their toilets there, the ones that... No, I'm not a big fan. I like those toilets there. They do everything for you. Oh, those, those ones, ones, yeah. The ones with they got the yeah. little <laughs> thing that comes out and it yeah. locks around. It and makes, so, makes so much sense because it has a little picture... Like a bum with squirt water squirt. Yeah, it shows you how to yeah. do it. Have you seen, have you tried those? I, I have tried one. I just don't understand, like, <laughs> where the water comes from or Well, I know how the water comes out, but it's got, like, pers the aim. Like, it's incredible. They can find. It's got a little, little sensor. It it's takes like a little sensor. scan and it goes, oh, there it is. Yeah. Boom. And they just shoot it. <laughs> it's so civilized. I wish they had them here because that's, aside from the food, that's probably my favorite thing about Japan. See, I don't I see. I don't really? like seafood. Would I die in Japan? Yeah. Would I? Would you? Oh, you don't eat seafood? No, I don't eat seafood. Oh. So I, no, I no, no, they have a whole they bunch of McDonald's. Things. They have McDonald's. Well, I don't want to live on McDonald's. No, but man. they have uh, other. They have these amazing. They have like lots of chicken oh. meals and things like that too. But yeah, it's not all. In fact, when we're there, we hardly ever have sushi. It's almost always something, something else that. And they know how to make everything taste good. Like vegetables that you hate here, mm -hmm. they'll make. They'll find a way to make it. It actually That's right. tastes like something. Nice. I think Ricky, yeah. I think we should take, <laughs> we Ricky, to take Japan. Ricky to Japan. Yeah, you should go. That would know. be amazing. It's oh, like boys. in most countries, you know, you can read signs and say, oh, I think that might yeah. mean, you know, caution or mm -hmm. something like that. But in Japan, it's just squiggles. You have no <laughs> fucking idea. Just strap a, like a GoPro to them, just push them out there, man. Say, so talk to you later, bud. Mm -hmm. Can you buy glasses now that when you look at stuff, it makes it into English? Oh, do they have those? I don't know. Are we there I yet? I wouldn't count on it. I, I know mean, they have these things now. If you say something in English and then trans translates it, like, yeah. and then you can hold it up to somebody. They have those now. That's cool. That's very cool. Ricky, how would you know they had those glasses? Were you? Reading? I don't know. I couldn't remember if I got it dreamt or if it was real. Mm. Thought it might have been on the news. Mm. It might have been. It might have been. So how do you how do you write a song? Well, you know, um, well, you've written songs, right? I mean, it's just like you have an idea. An idea comes to you for whatever reason. Maybe you over somebody says something while you're walking down the street, and then the light, it's like a light bulb comes on over your head, and then, and then I'm a melody guy, so I'm always singing to myself. I was a courier you know, for years. I wrote a lot of songs walking around, you know, as a courier. So, yeah. You know, like which ones? Like the early stuff? The early stuff, yeah. The first record or two, Secret Heart, all those songs were written. But the thing is, I didn't have anything, a dictaphone, so I'd get a song going and I'd have to sing it all day, basically, so I wouldn't forget it. So you it. could record yeah, it. Get home. Home. Yeah. So you wrote Secret Heart? Yeah, walking, walking around. Walking around, delivering packages to people. Yeah, that whole album, pretty much. Just walking oh, around. Yeah, I did that for a long time. There's a rhythm yeah. under... Here you go, there's your letter. Yeah, basically, yeah. That yeah. was the last song I wrote, actually, awesome as a courier. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're doing that one uh, later on, actually, tonight. Awesome. Yeah, Peace. I mean, I don't know when this airs at all, but I'm sure it airs like, a few months it's away. It's Friday. Oh, Friday, okay. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll have already been and gone by then. You know? See, now yeah. you can't even bring that up because he won't understand, he won't understand what understand. talking about. What? <laughs> oh, just the whole time thing, how it works. We're shooting it now, but it's going to come out on Friday. So, Bubs, are we pretending this is Friday right now? Or well, we don't is... have to. I mean, that's what we've always done because somebody I know, can't. I know. He's right. Grass. Right. <laughs> Who? <laughs> just different people. Right. So it's actually it's Friday right now. Uh, his tour just ended on Monday. Well, he just played in Halifax on yeah. Monday. Just on Monday. And uh, I thought today was Monday. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Here we go. You just hmm. fucked it up. Hmm. It's fine, boys. It's fine. Hmm. Okay. It's. Well, that's like the what are they the third wall or what do they call it? Is that when you just crack the, th the third fourth wall? Fourth wall. Is it the fourth wall? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, let's call yeah. it Friday. Day. Hmm. Friday. Day. Yeah. Today is Friday. Day. Hmm. Okay, it's Friday Day then. So is I want to ask you too. You did a bunch of stuff with Elvis Costello. Yeah. How did you meet him? How did you meet Elvis? Well, you know, he's the first guy that actually sort of he saved my career basically. I mean, I my album had come out in North America in '95 and it. It was just dying, a slow death, and no one knew about it. It wasn't selling. 
And at the end of the year, Elvis held it up on the cover of a magazine, and which created all this interest for it in the UK and all these places. And so all of a sudden, the label there were just getting ready to drop me, actually, when they... What was that, Interscope? Interscope Records. And so all of a sudden, they had to... Uh, they were sort of guilted into working it in overseas, and that's when I, f I was able to find my audience. You know? So they were going to drop you, and then all of a sudden, now oh, Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, we knew the whole time. <laughs> they weren't happy about it, actually. They were kind of embarrassed. and uh, Not that the album went on and sold a whole buttload of records, but it, but definitely that, you know, at the time, it turned a lot of people onto it. And uh, and then since then, you've played with them a whole bunch Yeah, of we toured right? together, and actually he took me to Japan the first time, and we, uh, I did his TV, you know, he had a TV show, you ever see that? Was that uh, yes. That, uh, whatever it's called, Spectacle. Front, uh, spectacle, spectacle yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, no, he's been great, he's been good good to me, Elvis, yeah. Is he a good dude? He's a very good dude, yeah. Yeah, very see good that? dude. I didn't know him in the old you know, days, old you know. Stars. I think in the old days he was maybe not... I was going to say less of a good dude. I think he, you know, he had a more of a temper in that. I think he's sort of mellowed into kind of a nice, nice person. You know? yeah. yeah. But I've only known him as that person. So. And what about Elton? I've only met Elton once, although we talked on the phone. The first time he called me at home, I wasn't there, and so he left an answer, a, a, a voicemail. I mean, you know, <laughs> except that he didn't hang up the phone properly. So I had him talking. I had a, to him talking for about half an hour after he hung up the oh, phone. Shit. So I took that to a, a recording studio and had it burnt onto a CD for me. And it was really funny because he's just sort of he's talking to somebody in the room, and he was saying, "I would never call you ugly," and he would say um, he'd called someone a f fat uh, c word. You, you guys don't swear on the show, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you can let, yeah. let her go. Yeah, whatever, anything. but that word's a real chesty word with people. But anyway, but he was he was really funny, and, and I just saved it, not to play it for anyone, but just for a souvenir. I, I could make it. you a lot of money, well, I could make <laughs> us a lot of money. He's not going to bootleg a fucking... Well, I'm just saying we could make some money off of it. Well, yeah, you could if you were If I could Greece. find it now, yeah. No, oh, but you can't but, lose that, but I was a member of the Elton John fan club as a kid, so it was that was pretty cool for me to, to, to meet him and... And uh, whatever, you know, he said some nice things, so that was unexpected. You look a bit like Elton John, actually, Bubbles does. Oh, don't tell bit. him that. No? Uh -huh. Is that bad? No, well, he's now... Oh, I think, uh, yeah. He's going to start dressing like him. And, I, would, and well, <laughs> I think Elton John's a handsome man. He's a very handsome man. I think he's a handsome man. Okay. So if I look like him, hey, fine by me. <laughs> Hold me closer, turn and dance. Are you going to ask him? Ask him what? Just trying to get the courage up. You were gonna ask him if maybe you guys could oh, do a play song. A song I was hoping that you might play. Yeah, I could do something. Could you play something for us? Well, I don't know what. Um, what are you gonna play too, or what? Do you have? Your well, I song? mean, my guitar is here. Yeah. Well, yeah, go for it, man. Would necessarily. What's your guitar doing here? I always have my guitar. Well, it's not once have you had your guitar oh. on set. I, on my guitar is. sits back there sometimes. My guitar has been around. I've never seen it before. Oh, Not it once is. have you brought your guitar back. I often, yeah, I often keep my guitar back there between <laughs> the fridge and the <laughs> thing. Yeah. Look at this, boys. Me and Ron Sexman. This is pretty cool. This is fucking awesome. Well, feel free to play along if you want. Well, oh, I think it's... maybe you should. Maybe first off, really? you just play it because I'm gonna have to get my confidence going here. It's just in the key of E. If you... Well, I believe it's time we blew this door the fat. Don't seem to matter where we are. Cause you can read my mind and soon you will be there. Waiting in the getaway car. And even though the in-laws tend to make you wanna hide. Wish you wouldn't take it so hard. Cause we'll be outlaws then like Bonnie and Clyde Speed off in the getaway car Getaway car, I love you Let's get away far from a hill And we can watch it all disappear in the rear view mirror Getaway car Get away, car. Oh, did you solo on it? Ah, uh, no. No, you just keep it on. Play it like you would. Remember when the songwriter circle nearly brought me down? 
You can see the look all over my face And you instinctively knew to pull the car around Get me the hell out of this place, yeah Get away car, I love you Let's get away far from a hill And we can watch it all disappear in the rear view mirror Get away car, get away car Oh, yeah. All right, great there, like Ron nice. Sachs, but get away car, dude, that's a good topic, you know, with you it guys. Is, yeah. you know, I like that song a lot. So, you know, you robbed a bank before, that's oh. a great. What was that like? How are you feeling, Bob? Pretty Bucks? intense, man. It was I'm awesome. Pretty. Yeah. You got to remember, Shrecky. We could actually play that song next time we have to get away. There you go. Yeah. 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 yeah was, get us in the mood. Well, maybe just don't do anything where you require a getaway <laughs> we car. We could do that and we can get these out. Yeah. Smoke them. You know, maybe have a little camera set up. Be good, man. Practice. Good for everybody. I just got too nervous. I couldn't even. I didn't want to rack it on you. I thought so you I were playing. Oh, oh, I was playing the room. Do the backbeat. No, I was just doing the backbeat there. You know, I didn't want to fuck up your nice song. <laughs> well, we can do something more, like, simple. Like, I mean, when we're out here in the East Coast, I was always a big fan of April Wine. Have you guys uh, yeah. ever heard of those guys? Love right. April Wine, man. Be yeah. amazing. Yeah, we could try an April Wine song. Yeah, all right. I know a few April Wine songs. Well, this one... Uh, That's the way she likes to try Going on forever, oh yeah And knowing that's the reason why She said tonight is a wonderful time To fall in love, oh yeah Tonight is a wonderful time Two of us together Doing things the way we do Nothing seems to matter Oh yeah Long as I can be with you You know she can feel it Cause that's the way she likes to try Going on forever the reason why she says tonight is a wonderful time to fall in love oh yeah tonight is a wonderful time to fall in love right, one more time yeah, she said tonight is a wonderful time to fall in love Nice job, Wine. That was killer, yeah. Yes, sir, April Wine. That was amazing. See that, Ricky? I threw in a harmony there. You did good, boss. Yeah. You're just shaking. (laughs) Too, I could maybe be, you know, maybe no. Yeah. Mm, You know, I might get a phone call from Elton John, Paul McCartney. Or Miles. uh, Or Miles Goodwin. Goodwin, yeah. That would be decent. Can I? Wow, that was killer. Could I play you a song that I wrote and see if you, uh, if you could throw a harmony on this, I could never figure out how to make this song, you know, have a harmony That's on it. the chorus. Okay. It just goes like this. It's just like in G, G. C and D or most of it, and then it's, yeah. I think there's an E minor in there somewhere. But All right. It just goes like this.
Maybe we could go in the studio sometime. And, yeah. No, I'm terrible know. at harmonies. I, I totally blew that one. Uh, I don't are. think so. Anyway, I nice job. It's like a, a concert song. podcast. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I kind of liked that song before, but now I really like it, so you got to sort this out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You gotta that sort should it out. be like the first song on your record when wow. you get around to making one. We're going to make one, and there, he said it right here. He sang on it. Uh, play on it, you heard I don't, it. I don't think he would. Did you say you'd sing on it? I didn't actually say it, but didn't I, say that, I, I wouldn't. I matter. think you did. Well, I it's not out of the is. question. Okay, yeah. all right, right. we'll work it out. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to everybody. This is pretty awesome. We didn't get a chance to talk about a lot of stuff, but yeah. we've heard oh. some great songs. Oh, thanks. Well, it doesn't matter what we talked about, Ricky. Why, what did you want to talk about? Well, you know, the $890 million meth bust in Australia, that's a big oh, one. Oh, right, yeah. Someone's 890 definitely... million? Yep. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if that was cop prices or real prices, but... Whoa. It was definitely it's the a big one. Prices, but that's still a lot, man. If they're like a little bit off, that's a lot of money. Well, it's good. I'm glad they got that shit out of it. I mean, that stuff's not good for you. That stuff will rot your no. teeth and fuck you over. It'll fuck you over pretty bad. Stick but, to this and a couple pops every now and then, you'll be fine. Yep. All right, guys. I think that's it. Well, that was fun. That sort of flew by. It was, gonna, it was fun. I had a lot of fun by. today. It it fly by. With the piglet? Mm. What? The piglet what? born with balls instead of eyes? What are you talking about, Ricky? <laughs> there was what? a piglet board. He had testicles here. No way, eyes. really? Is that yeah. even possible? Rick. Like, why? What, like, a, who would do such a thing? Who would do such a thing to a pig? I don't know. I think it just... He was born with balls out, for eyes. Came out all fucked up. So what were the and balls Did he have eyes in his nutsack or what? <laughs> what was going on there? I don't know where his eyes were. So he did he have eyes. four balls? <laughs> Two for sure right here. I saw wow. But where would, they, where would the tubes go? Like, where is it connected to? Mm. Like, that's what I want to know. You're making it more complicated. Mm. Well, it's just weird, man. All right, well, oh. try to talk about some fun stuff, guys. Well, we'll talk I about just... Thomas, Thomas and Cruz and Cameron Diaz. What? <coughs> Apparently they... they're married or getting married or something. No, no way, they're... really. No, it's... Well, they were in a movie together. I don't think they're getting married, though. God, that's what I heard. Huh. No, they got married. You must be surprised movie. because hmm. you said that. Oh, Tom, I thought you meant Ted Cruz. Tom Cruz. Tom, Tom, yeah, Tom, Tom guy. Tommy. Right. Tom Ted. Cruz. Tom Cruz. Hmm. It's more, uh, more likely Trump. it is Ted Cruz than not Tom Cruz. I wouldn't say he's married, married to Cameron Diaz, right? No, you, I, I don't know. You must be surprised because I thought you said he was gay. <laughs> I never said that. You Tom did Cruz. so. <coughs> you did so, man. I don't use that not word. There's anything, we love everybody, but yeah. I didn't think he was, man. Yeah. I never said that. I said, I think he's a handsome man and he's a good dancer. Maybe it was my dad. I don't remember. Right. Hmm. All right. Okay. Thanks for coming, Ron. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah remember, Ron, sex man. Try this stuff out. Yeah, I will. Definitely. Thanks. I forgot to ask you if you're making a new record, for fuck's sake. I will eventually. Yeah, I will. No one buys records though anymore. Clubs, so I was trying yeah. to. Oh yeah, get sorry. To this. Interrupted. No, no, I don't. don't need... no. I'm trying okay, to. Ask I know, but this is important too. This is what puts food on our fucking plates. Mm. Okay. God damn it. All right. Thanks to our bros at uh, Jacasa. Jacasa. Try it out, Ron. Oh, well, maybe I'll get a sponsor from them. Yeah, here, too. take a couple of those things. A few of them. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Try it. This is great. All right, that's it. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Fuck. Cheers. Start to be some nice outro. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> 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 it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beauti